product development uh, at various stages is always looking to make uh, sheet metal parts. So in the old traditional method, you would go to a tool and die shop and make a prototype die. From the prototype die, you stamp a prototype part. You can be talking six to eight weeks if you want to make a prototype die, but you're really talking about weeks versus hours, and that's the fundamental differences. F3T stands for Ford Freeform Fabrication Technology. The unique thing about the F3T process is you can actually take a two-dimensional sheet, get a CAD file from the design and release engineer, and then we have the capabilities to take that CAD and uh, use a computer program to generate a tool pass, which you send this to a robot, and the robot will control the machine. The program is ready. We load the sheet into the machine, and we let it run. And the stylus will come in and form a three-dimensional part from a two-dimensional sheet. And we can actually do this overnight. Can you imagine handing the part to the design and release engineer in a matter of hours or a day instead of him or her having to wait uh, two to three weeks or six weeks for an actual part? It really represents advanced manufacturing. It's never been done before. We've been stamping sheet metal for well over 100 years. This is the next generation. The ultimate goal is, can you make this fast enough to stamp high volume parts? Uh, that's a long way off. But I think, well, obvious advantages uh, within Ford is we can use for low volume prototyping and uh, even low volume niche vehicles. So whether it's automotive, transportation, or even the military, this is a very unique process for making sheet metal parts. What excites me most about this technology is the team has gotten together, taken an initial concept, they progressed the technology. Now we're between research and implementation. And the next phase is we go forward to afford us the chance to evaluate it as a true manufacturing technology that we could utilize in our plants and our shops globally. The coolest thing about this technology, it exists in one place, Ford Motor Company.